Okay, hello again. What I'm going to do this morning is show you how to add your framework tags to Virtuous 10 Studio as well as to compile and decompile apps. Uh, there are a couple things that you you should do. You don't need to, but you should do prior to getting your tags going. One thing that I I do is I copy the framework folder from the zip and I put it into a separate folder as well I put in my my apps that, that I want to work with. I do that because in the past since 4 there was never a problem with extracting your your tags from the device but ever since since 5 and especially with 5.5 it seems to be a bit of an issue so it's better just to take that folder, put it somewhere, and take your frameworks right from that folder. So we're going to go into File. We're going to open Settings. And we're going to navigate down to the App Tool. And here we have a couple of options. We can add single framework or we can add multiple frameworks. If you're just dealing with a one or two apps, you might all only need you know, two or three frameworks. Uh, framework res app resources app but if you're dealing with multiple uh, apps you're better off just to go ahead and add your multiple framework tags so we're going to go ahead and do that now naming your frameworks is very important especially if you're working with uh, several ROMs like I do as a themer uh, I tend to work with you know two or three or sometimes four ROMs at one time, and each ROM is specific, so you're going to need the, the frameworks from that ROM. So I'm going to go ahead and name this as the uh, Renovate. That's my main ROM as a uh, team themer, and I'm going to label it Sense 5.5. And I'm going to go ahead and press OK. Now again, we have two options. I can uh, extract from the, the uh, device using a DB connection. Or I can just pull right from the actual folder. And all I do is I navigate to that folder that I showed you earlier. Click on the framework and press Select Folder. And then all my frameworks are added. Okay, then I press OK. Now I'm ready to decompile an app. So I go back into File, click New Project. I'm going to use the path to navigate back to that folder I showed you. And I'm going to do the weather clock. I'm just going to copy the name and put it down here for the solution name. Now you can do whatever you want. You can uh, decompile this as a backup or as a test. But if you're going to use that for, for an app to go back into your device, the solution name and project name should be the same. Now before I go ahead and press OK, I need to check all my my presets and things like that. and to, to go into that, we have last used configuration. Well, this is a, a new build, so I, I better go ahead and configure. What I want to make sure here is that the framework tag is selected. Now, if you have you know two or three or four different framework tags, you make sure that you have the correct framework tag. Then go down to Smalley. Now, the API level, there are quite a few that you can choose from depending on the version of your of your ROM. Uh, because there's no 4.3 as of now, we use template for API 18 setting. M10, that's a thing of the past with Sense 4. And the build, you don't have to worry about that. So we go back, press OK, and we let it decompile correctly. It shouldn't take very long. 
And once you decompile, you can go ahead and take a look in the folder. Okay, that's that's all there. Let's refresh it. Hit the project again. Let's look at the layouts. Okay. Now, what I like to do sometimes is just to go back and to build the project. Make sure that there's no issues. And there you are. You have a decompiled and recompiled app. You're, you're safe now to go in and do what you want, hopefully, without making mistakes. And that's it. Okay, so stick around and I'll be back soon for something else.